everyone, today we are going to be reviewing three unofficial minifigures today. Now, as of now, I have posted a video yesterday. Act actually, the day it was released was actually the day before it posts. See, the day I edit it is today, but I'm filming this act. It's, it's confusing. Let's not think about that, but let's get into these minifigures. Alright, so I have a surprise one. It's gonna surprise all of you. Joking, it's probably already the title, and you already probably know what it is, but if you don't, I don't know what you know. So, we're gonna start off, and we only have like three figures, so I might as well tell a story for each one. So, this is Michael Keaton Batman, you know, um, from the the Bat from the Batman movies. Batman and then Batman Returns, or is that Batman Forever? I think Batman Forever was George Clooney, probably. That was, that was probably where, that's probably where he was in. But, uh, anyway, so they released a Lego set. It was called the Batmobile. It was about, like, $200, and it came with a cool Bat Batman figure. And I thought... I don't need this. And I did it, but I saw it online and I was like, well, I might as well buy it because this is this is the Batman from a $200 set. If I can, I could get it in unofficial form, but it still looks exactly like the one I would have gotten in the two in the $200 set one. I said, why not? Because <laughs> why not, honestly? If you like this background, then just leave a like on this video. That's all I'll know. Or leave a comment if YouTube even lets you. A lot of my videos, YouTube always like has comments reserved or something like that. I bet that happens to a lot of people. All right, but let's look at the actual figure. So it comes with this. Um, it comes with this piece right here. And if you don't already know, then this this is the piece from. This is a piece that he used to grapple, you know, like grapple, like, I don't know, like Batman usually does. Rather it's, rather it's Christian Bale or Michael Keaton or heck, even Adam West. I, I bet Batman uses a grapple gun a lot, even in the Lego movie, so. Anyway, so yeah, that's the, that's the thing. Now, if we take this off, I'm going to look at the head print. Okay, this. Another thing I have to say is this is very, like, it could, the legs and the torso aren't connected that well. And it pop off, pop off very, very easily. But let's look at the head print. So we have this face. Hold on, let me get it to focus here. We have this face, which is supposed to be based off the official Lego version. No, not, the, not, the, not the Michael Keaton one from the $200 Batman set. This is... It's supposed to be um this is supposed to be the one from like the like they started making this face since 2012 and they decided to out of all faces like they could have done the, like the actual 20 um, 2021 version for the batmobile but they just decided to do the old face and then on the back it has like this weird like mouth expression where it's like zigzagged on the back and then right here we can see um this is where the batman logo would have been if it was there and then on the on the uh and then on the legs you see a bit of leg detailing and honestly pretty cool now this piece move doesn't move it kind of just stays in one position just like the doctor strange we reviewed last time so yeah that's kind of strange but that's just what it is uh oh oh there actually is arm printing right here pretty cool and then i'm actually not sure what the actual piece looks like because of course i don't have a 200 dollars set my most expensive set was probably the daily bugle or the home alone house i do i do have those i'm currently working on the daily bugle i have not i just kicked the tripod but i am not i have not even started the home alone house so shame bummer you know how it is when you have shame and bummer clap your hands it happens to me a lot it happens to everyone so uh we're gonna put the batman aside and go to the next figure and 
by the thumb and by the thumbnail you probably already know who it is no it is maybe not i haven't designed the thumbnail i haven't designed the thumbnail yet right now i'm thinking of a design for it all right so this is the green goblin with a willem dafoe or norman osborne willem dafoe's the actor man willem dafoe would be perfect to play the joker i don't know why he's just such a good goblin and uh so here's a figure. Let's look at the pumpkin bomb. Now this is very accurate to not only Spider-Man um, 2002, but the No Way Home when he drops the bomb on the bridge when when they're fighting. It's not a spoiler. It was in the trailer, but I think the internet basically spoiled No Way Home because that's what they've been doing for the past month, or for the past year actually. As soon as the trailer dropped, there's been like so many fan edits of. Toby and Andrew on the bridge, it's so dumb, but yeah, I mean, it turns out that, uh, turns out that, um, they were in the movie, those fan edits weren't true, but, I mean, they were true for the part that they were in the movie, but anyways, let's look at the actual figure, now, compared to the official 2002 Lego Green Goblin figure, it does look good, except, of course, that is yellow skin, this one, of course, does not. It has a good Green Goblin face, not only for Spider-Man, but also for No Way Home, because it looks, it just looks so good. On the back, same difference. It's So, I mean, I think this one would be the Goblin face, like when he has that infection of the Goblin, and then on the back side, this would be like when he's trying to help himself from, from the Goblin taking over his body. Take the pumpkin off. This is a pretty nice print. There are even prints underneath the arms, on the arms, none on the hands, which is, I've actually never seen a Lego minifigure with printing on the hands, official or unofficial. It probably would have been unofficial anyways, but um, on the back of the legs, that's rare. I haven't seen many with printings on the back of the legs because there's holes there. But on on the sides, not. I mean, it's not as, it's not as uh, rare, but still still cool um and then back front torso really everywhere is printed it except for the hands or the hair you can't print hair you just have to mold it and colorize it with one single color unless it's a character like flash thompson that has like black and yellow hair i'm talking about no way home okay so we take off the head uh, we put on the, the Green Goblin mask. It doesn't look so bad compared to the 2002 version. Yes, I'm going to have... And yes, all the pictures you're seeing on the screen, I had to edit in. That wasn't... I didn't... It's not already there. Sorry, guys, but those are just edits. I, the, you, the Green Goblin is not actually right here, but oh well. And then this board, I'm not sure how to build this. It kind of just came like that, where... It was a, um, where it was like, um, where it was just, it just kind of came, it just came with a bunch of pieces, so I just decided to assemble this glider thing, I don't know. And then I put the two spikes in front of it so I could, like, stab him with the glider, just like he got stabbed in the movie, you know. Uh, and then, so yeah, that's the Green Goblin. Pretty, pretty nice figure. And by the way, um, it just comes with a plain green head for the uh, mask, if you're wondering. I forgot I forgot to show you that part. Pretty cool. Let me put everything back together, and then we'll be looking at the thing you guys clicked on this video for. And I bet, I, how did you, I don't even think, I don't even think I said it in the title. I probably just um said it on i probably you probably just looked at the thumbnail good you know what? i'll put it in the title might as well all right are you ready this is the chrome spider-man yes the chrome version of the 2012 spider-man the chrome version now that's a pretty common spider-man now no one really likes it i actually personally do like that suit um, from the 2012 Spider-Man that we're, you're looking at on this side of the screen. And, uh, yeah, that one is actually my favorite LEGO Spider-Man suit. 
not including any from the movies. From the movies, my favorite suit is probably the No Way Home, which I do actually have, and the other one from the other side. So let's take a look at this figure. Oh gosh, is this peeled tight. I might need the scissors. Apparently not. Uh, beginner's luck. Should I even take this out of the bag? This is so good, cool. What if I get my fingerprints on this? This will be like getting your fingerprints on Mr. Gold. You probably don't know who Mr. Gold is back in minifigure series 10. It was like this gold minifigure. People thought that in series 20 of the minifigures they would do Mr. No, they would do Mrs. Gold. I don't know. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Let me take this off of his head. Okay, good thing it doesn't do any fingerprints. Okay, the head is really hard to move down. Yeah, this is definitely not meant for playing with. The hand is actually really hard to move down, but just check this out. Oh man, I have fingerprints on it. His hand isn't even pushed in all the way. Yo, this is actually really cool. I like this. The only thing that really moves are his legs and this arm. I mean, this arm moves like, like a 0.1%. I'm probably just gonna have this displayed on a base or like a minifigure case because this is just such a cool figure and I really like this. This is this is awesome. Even though it's not really meant for play, as you can tell. It doesn't even stand on its base. What kind of figure is this? This is this is still cool though. And uh, I just got some more lighting. Yeah, so this is actually a really cool. Okay, I almost got it, okay. If I put one foot down, then another foot goes up. It's kind of weird, but this is actually a really cool figure. And uh, I, I, I'm, I'm wondering what else they're gonna do for, um, for Lego Spider-Man minifigures on official ones. Cause this is actually really cool even though it's not really meant for play. It's not like articulated as it should have been. This arm is not even snapped on, what the heck? This arm's gonna pop off soon. It doesn't even move. Oh, it does. But it's gonna take, it does, the head doesn't even move. It's just like, yo, I can use this on my Lego Spider-Man figure. I could use these pants. Uh, okay, so there, uh, there's a problem. So this is all chrome except for the like these top things that allow it to connect to the minifigure. I respect that. Okay, so I just realized a lot of my Lego unofficial webs are like so stiff, like you can barely move them. But this one seems to be like it can move, it can swing now without like, like this is the one that came to Miles. It was like, like this, but this one like you can move around a lot, so. Nice, nice, unofficial web. Yeah. Yes. Huh. So even if you have fake Lego, it could still be good. You need. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down.